Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for June favorites, I believe, and I have quite a few things, of course, that I want to talk about because I technically kind of skipped May favorites because of the wedding. I uploaded a May favorites, but I didn't have a ton of products, so I feel like this one might be a little longer. I have uh, just a compilation, I guess, of stuff that I missed out uh, talking about in May and in June. So let's go ahead and start. The first product is actually a hair product and I have really been enjoying this brand. I have purchased one of their products and they actually sent me the one I'm going to talk about today. But it's the brand IGK and this is such a cool brand because the founders are all men and they look like rock stars. Like they don't look like the typical, you know, hairstylist that would be fixing up your hair and cutting your lob for you. Uh, but yeah, just go to their Twitter and kind of watch their videos. Uh, really cool guys and uh, I was actually sent this texture spray it's called the Beach Club texture spray and I freaking love this texture sprays are normally hit or miss they're normally really heavy um, weighed down they make your hair feel weighed down products and uh, some are just really light and airy and great but they just don't really do much they don't really give you texture this is kind of like the entire package. It feels lightweight in your hair, but it gives you kind of that rough, tousled look that you want, especially with the type of curls that I did today. I just actually curled my hair with a straightener. Uh, so they're a little bit more messy, and I just really have been enjoying this product. It has a nice, fresh scent to it. It uh, doesn't leave like a ton of residue in your hair the next day. Like I can brush my hair out at night, throw some dry, dry shampoo in the next morning, and and my hair just doesn't even feel like it's, you know, clumped down with a bunch of products. So, uh, yeah, Beach Club Texture Spray from IGK. Perfect texture spray, uh, especially if you have a cut similar to mine. So, Clinique sent me uh, these Chubby Stick Baby Tints this month. And I have seen these. These have been out for probably over a year now. Uh, but basically, they are an extended version of their Chubby Stick line. If you're not familiar with the Chubby Sticks, this is basically what the Chubby Sticks look like. And they have regular Chubby Sticks. They have Chubby Stick Intense. And now they have the Baby Tints. And the Baby Tints are basically these, um, what I like to call mood-changing lip colors. Not really, but they basically are um, really sheer, almost clear lip formulas and then they adjust to your natural lip color. And so Clinique sent me, I think these are all three, I think there's just three uh, of the colors. This one right here is Budding Blossom. So this is very similar to like the um, It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi Vitality Lip Treatment. Uh, so it looks very like baby pink, but when you apply it on your lips, it's clear. And then within a couple seconds, it kind of adjusts to whatever your pH levels are in your skin and you get like a custom shade of pink. Now I'm actually wearing uh, the shade Flowering Freesia today. Uh, I do have a lip liner underneath. I have Max Soar lip liner on underneath and then this really cool Becca liquid crystal topper, lip topper, and it's in Topaz and Gilt. Um, I have been testing those out. I haven't developed opinion on them. This is actually the first time I've used them, but um, Anyways, the color I'm wearing today is actually this one that looks purple. It's called Flowering Freesia. So you can see in the tube it looks purple. But like, let me just swatch it on the back of my hand right now. Like, you see how sheer that is? And it just kind of adjusts to your, um, whatever your skin tone is. I love chubby sticks. I love all the chubby stick formulas. And these are just really fun, um, like fresh summer colors. Uh, I love pairing them with a lip liner and they're very moisturizing on the lips too. So I wanted to talk about these because I think they're really cool and um, they'll appeal to a lot of people who just like kind of that fresh color on the lips. Of course, you guys probably just saw my review on this foundation, but I have to admit that it has definitely been a favorite this month. It's actually been the only foundation I have worn 
except for powder foundation. And it's the new Bare Minerals Fresh Face Liquid Foundation. Uh, as you guys know, if you watch the review, if you didn't watch the review on this, I will um, link it down below or it's actually just the last video that I posted. Uh, but basically, Bare Minerals made an app to where you scan the different parts of your face and they will custom blend a foundation for you. And it's really cool because you get your name on the foundation, so it's like a own little personalized bottle. And uh, the formula is awesome. It's like a great, I'm wearing it right now, it's like a great everyday uh, foundation. It's like everything I could want in an everyday foundation. It is, I said in the video, it's very similar to Complexion Rescue. It just has more coverage to it. So this has been just a great everyday foundation for me. I love it so much. It looks good. It feels good. It lasts on my skin and, uh, you know, had to throw it in there. Physicians Formula Butter Blushes. So I uh, tried the Butter Bronzer a few months ago and I just, I don't know, I wasn't crazy about it. Um, it kind of was light on my skin. Uh, it had a nice formula to it, but I just never really caught on. I never really hopped on the butter bronzer train. But uh, Physicians Formula sent me these uh, and I busted them out. I They sent me four, but I've only tried two of them. And I really like these. I really like this formula. I'm not like a huge um, blush like how should I say? I don't like really bright blushes. And all four of the colors they sent are very muted. The brightest one is actually the one that I'm wearing today, and it's not even that bright. It's called Rosy Pink, uh, and this is what it looks like. And first of all, I think these smell better than the Butter Bronzer. I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of a different scent to these. If you don't know, these smell like tropical goodness. I mean, it will literally take you back to you being on the beach. They smell so great. Um, but the formula is very smooth. They go on pretty sheer, so they're buildable. And I've just really been enjoying the texture and just the overall longevity of these. They last really nicely on my skin. So the two I've been wearing are um, Natural Glow, which is this one right here. Uh, it's got a built-in highlight to it, so it gives your cheeks a really pretty glow. And then Rosy Pink, which is the one I am wearing today if I want more of like a pink look. I also have Plum Rose or Rose Plum, I think is the other one they sent. And um, Vintage, something vintage, maybe Vintage Rose. I haven't tried those yet, but... I've been loving these. So this next product I have literally been obsessed with and it's only a travel or mini size. I got it in a Sephora 500 point perk and it's actually uh, from Bobbi Brown. It's called the Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick. And so this is just the little mini one that came in my point perk. I have been dying to use my points for, I feel like I haven't used my points in over a year. So I had several points that had accumulated and finally I saw this Bobbi Brown set that became available and I was like yes please and this was in it and it's called Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Sand Dune. So this is a matte uh, cream shadow and you just twist it up, you apply it, and you rub it in with your finger and that's all you have to do. And I am just so obsessed with this color. It's like this perfect flesh tone kind of taupe. It's got like some salmon in there. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now and it is just like the perfect touch of color. I love it. I have been wearing this out nonstop. I'm definitely going to pick up the full size when I run out of this because I feel like it's going to run out really quick uh, and possibly a couple other colors. I, I have really been enjoying this. It's just so creamy, but it actually sets on your eyes so you don't have to set your eyes with any powder. And I am just like getting to the point to where, and I've mentioned this for a couple years now, I'm just so over the everyday smoky eye, like really taking time and effort to like blend in five different shadows. I'm over that. I absolutely hate doing my eyeshadow. I mean, and I've said it multiple times. That's why my eyes are pretty much like 80% of the time supernatural, like one shadow, liner and mascara and that's it. And that's why I think I love this so much is it's so easy and it just gives you that you know, hint of color on your eye. And I don't know, there's several different colors that they make in these and uh, I, 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 have, I have been loving, I have been loving this. It has been my prized possession this month. Uh, also in that same Bobbi Brown set, I got a little mini sample of the bronzing powder in medium. And it's like the same color as the sand dune shade 
really weird. These are like the exact same color, except this is in powder form, like a bronzer form. So it's a really unique bronzer shade. It's got this, um, almost like this clay look to it. It's got that uh, salmon undertone, and I have just been loving me some of this bronzer. Um, it also is great as a shadow. Like if you wanna set, I mean, even though you technically don't have to, if you wanna set one of these, this I've also been layering on top for more of like an actual, um, not smoky look obviously, but if I want a little bit more drama on my eyes, I've just been going in and adding a little bit of this in the crease. Uh, but I, I really want this bronzer, but I'm not gonna buy it just yet because I have so many bronzers I have got to use up. Uh, but I did wanna mention it because I think it's a really unique color. It just has this uh, perfect, and it's good for like a light medium skin tone. After you surpass a medium skin tone, I feel like this might be a little light on you. But for my light and light medium gals out there, Bobbi Brown Bronzer in medium two, really, really nice. Makeup Forever Brow Gel in number 25. This has pretty much replaced Gimme Brow, which I thought was never possible because I love Gimme Brow and I have been using Gimme Brow for years, but Makeup Forever has done it. They have really mastered the brow fiber gel formula. And not only that, they've mastered proper colors for the brows. That was one downfall of Gimme Brow is I just felt like the color range was just too limited um, and the lightest shade was I, I normally use the lightest shade but sometimes it was too gray or taupe on my um, brows and then the second lightest shade was just too dark for my brows so I couldn't find that perfect medium number 25 in makeup forever's brow gel amazing i love the brush on this i love the formula it's all i'm wearing on my brows today and that's why i have been loving this so much i don't even have to use a brow pencil when i use this stuff it fills in the sparse areas it holds my brows in place all day and the color is phenomenal so if you haven't checked out this brow gel and you're the type of person that really just likes to run something like colored through your brows Check this out next time you're at Sephora. Uh, I think, I mean, I think you'll really like it. So I would have definitely forgotten to mention these products if they weren't just sitting beside me in my travel makeup bag, but I have been loving this line. And when it came to my doorstep, I looked at it and I was like, that is so gimmicky. They're just jumping on the matcha train, like the whole matcha craze that is going on right now. Like I was just like, I didn't even know if I was gonna try it, but I'm glad that I did because I really like these products. And they're from Milk Makeup and it's their matcha cleanser toner and oil so really interesting um these all have supposedly have matcha in them which is like a ground up green tea powder you know everybody's like obsessed with lately and the cleanser is uh kind of this dark green one and it has exfoliating beads in it Normally not a fan of that, but this cleanser feels so good. And these are so amazing for travel. Uh, I have every time me and Will have went back home to visit family this past month or even, you know, back in May, I would take these with me and it's like everything you need. I mean, for travel, it's got every single thing that you need. So um, this cleanser, you basically just wet your face and you rub this all over your face and you just wash your face off. And it does a good job of removing makeup and it doesn't leave your face feeling tight or dry. It actually has a nice finish to it to where your face feels fresh afterwards. And then there's the toner, which was something I didn't think I would use because I'm not a big toner person but this feels so refreshing and cooling when you apply it after cleansing your skin. And it almost adds like a little bit of hydration. Like I can feel a little bit of hydration being added back into my skin. Uh, so <laughs> like that. And last, last product is the hydrating oil. I don't know if this has matcha in it, uh, but it's a part of the, of the cleansing system. And uh, I love me some oil on my face. This feels great. Don't think the oily skin, combination skin people would appreciate this, but dry skin people, oh my gosh, this feels wonderful on the skin. So yeah, I don't I don't know how much these are. I never looked into it. I feel like milk is a little up there in price. I would assume they're probably like in the 20 range maybe. Uh, but I think it's something that if you're like a very uh, minimal person and you travel a lot and you just want something that's like super quick, 
all three of these products, they they were great. I traveled with them and I didn't bring anything else. So I've really been enjoying. All right, so I think that is it for monthly favorites. As usual, leave your monthly favorites down below so I can check those out in the comment section. If you have any questions, leave those down below as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.